What is up guys? I apologize for the brief break of videos recently. I've been working on a big project for my membership website, which I'll be announcing soon. But anyway, here I am back with the goods and I'll be back posting weekly for the foreseeable future. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool way to use triad pairs when improvising. This is a really hip sounding concept when used in this way. And I recommend spending some time with it, getting it under your fingers if you like how it sounds. And if you'd like a resource sheet to go along with this video with the notation, you can download that for free via the link in the description. So let's head over to the piano and take a look at this hip way of playing triad pairs. So I actually came across this idea through transcribing a line by the awesome Michael Brecker. Let's have a quick listen to that. That line honestly blew my mind when I first heard it. This is how it sounds on the piano, a bit slower. And we're not going to be looking at this entire line, we're just gonna be looking at a portion of it, the part where he's using triad pairs, this part. And I'm feeling kind today, so I'm gonna transpose it to a more friendly key for us to learn it in. We're gonna be playing this using these two triads, F major and E flat major. And if you've never come across triad pairs before, I highly recommend checking them out. You can do so much by just using inversions of two triads. But the problem with many of those is that they just sound a bit vanilla. It's very easy for them to sound predictable. But the way that Brecker plays them is just so creative. It's actually quite simple, but just very effective. So this is what we're going to do. We only need to play one inversion of each of our triads. We're gonna play the F major in its root position and the E flat major in its second inversion. And you could just practice doing that for a bit. And here's how we actually play the line. Start from the top of our F major triad and descend. And then we come back up to the middle note and repeat this same pattern for our E flat major in its second inversion. And that's essentially it. We can put this together and repeat it as many times as we like to create a longer line. For example, So what chords can you actually play this over? Well, any chord where these two triads are in that key, it's gonna work. For example, this would sound great over an F dominant. Or even a C minor. That gives a really hip sound. You could even apply this over altered dominant chords. For example, A altered dominant. Let's finish this off by hearing how this concept might sound over a 251. And let's try another one. You 
you can take this a lot further as well, but I think that will have to wait for another video. So let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. Have a play around with that idea and practice integrating it to other vocabulary you already know. And remember, you can download the notation for this for free via the link in the description. Have fun with that. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.